First, with The Other, I don't know how much information the showrunners have given you in terms of what The Other really is, but as the actor playing The Other, how are you kind of approaching that in a term in terms of a way of like justifying what it actually does? Yeah, so I didn't want to do like a, <clears throat> something like a dissociative state. I don't want to encroach on a, an actual disorder that, you know, I, I don't know anything about. And I don't think that's what this is. Um, and without saying there's something supernatural, because I don't know if there is either. Like, quite honestly, I think it's interpretive. But um, there, I didn't really have anything to draw on for the other Thaisa. So it was a lot of conversations with the create with Ashley and Bard and Jonathan, and uh, really discussing the 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 bits and pieces of what makes up the other Thaisa. Is she feral? Is she nice? Does she, does she, does she hate our Thaisa? You know, she seems to hate our Thaisa, but um, we discussed all these things. And then it was really just like play. It was like being a child and playing dress up and saying, you know, here's a fun thing I can do. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> all season one, my thing has been, there's no supernatural. It's just like true human horrors coming out and making all this happen. The more I watch of season two, the harder and harder I'm having justifying right. that idea, though. I know. Yeah. Um, Juliet, for you, episode five, the moment where um, where she accesses her, her past uh -huh. with, with Lottie's help. Why do you think after the overdose, she chose to completely block out information that she knew she needed? And do you think there's any other character on the show that could have helped her re-access th that information other than Lottie? I hate to give you such a boring answer. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just, when, when nothing else, I commit. And mm -hmm. I commit uh, I just full on. Um, I don't know why. I don't even know why that's the one thing that's hurting her the most or how she denied it. I don't know. But, you know, they, they, they hope, hopefully it works. It and does work. Compelling and, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Everything in the show is filled with subtext and just keeps the wheels in my uh, head turning nonstop. And now that leads me to your last shot that I saw in episode six when she finally sees the group reuniting. I'm obsessed with reaction shots in this show because sometimes those say more than even dialogue heavy beats. So what did you want to convey in that particular shot where it's so important to convey how she feels about the group reuniting? Well, I haven't seen the shot you're talking about. So lived what it. we lived it, yeah. yeah. And so we haven't like. It's when we it's, all come in. The yeah, the yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know the moment you're talking about, but I haven't seen how it's all put together. But even when you just said it, I got a little bit of a shiver because it was the first time we were all coming together to work and play yeah. to, in in the world of Lottie. Like I hadn't worked with Tawny, so and or Lauren um, or Melanie, uh, Christina, and I had done a couple of scenes, and then I'd just been working with Juliet. So. There was this moment that, and they had a big crane and, and there's Lottie and she turns and I see them all and I get the joy of seeing each individual face for the first time in their characters because we shot that scene first mm -hmm. and I did get shivers and then I had to walk slowly across and even just seeing Lauren's face and I felt it. There were all the feelings going on and it was kind of amazing and we did it a few times mm -hmm. but again and just even looking at Tony because I hadn't seen her character so broken and disheveled as well mm -hmm. and so seeing that for the first time was really and and then from there the show just goes and goes and goes and we're all together and these women actually belong together and it's it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. This is a killer moment to cut off our screeners. That oh, hurt. Good. That hurt to have it stop there. <laughs> I'll, I'll end with a question for all three of you. I love talking about the value of a good scene partner. So in these six episodes of season two, can you each name a time when a scene partner was, was just the partner you needed and they helped you access something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to without them? We got to do I so many happens, things together. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm always leaning in to who I'm playing with and yeah and it's quite it, easy I mean to, it's easy with this one mm. I've had moments where it was difficult if someone's not fully present or but uh, yeah we kept pushing it and, mm. and reshaping it mm. and we especially in five too I think there's a scene where we we go each other and it was so primal and it was just like I know she's got me and I feel safe working with her and she knows I've got her. And so we would do things like she was 
incredible. She fell on the ground and she was just heaving. Mm. Yeah, remember that? And I was like, me as a mother, I wanted to like comfort her. And I was like, and we, you just go through so many nights because you were so safe in it. I was fully in at that time in, in the season as well. I was like going for it. And Julia and I found things. We even had one moment. We would put be our really heads intimate in. in space, and that's quite unique. You can't always space invade. And I love, I like, yeah, because yeah. that's our the kid history of the woods. I feel like they had a, a cross of Definitely. many things. I um yeah. really quickly. I mean, I loved working with Lauren. She was a great scene partner, um, yeah. obviously, and it was. I get so lucky with scene partners on this show, but I I do have to give it to Rukia, who plays Simone, my wife. Um, I worked with her so much in season one um, that we. I just have such a deep love for her. It's ridiculous. Um, I cry when I see her. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, what what the other tie winds up doing to Simone is. Truly heartbreaking. And that took very little acting. I, I did not want to say goodbye to Rukia. Mm. Not to say that we do say goodbye to Rukia, oh, no, but. I, <laughs> I need more. You guys mm. crush it this yeah. season. Okay. It's not easy to keep the bar as high as you set it in season one, but you very much do here. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. You know what else is incredible? Moodoo.